This tutorial video from Focusrite explains how to assess the audio performance of your computer using a third-party tool called the DPC Latency Checker. The first thing you need to do is to download this tool from um, Fessicon's website, which is mentioned above, and then to open it, just double-click, and you should see some bars starting to scroll across the screen. These bars represent the latency on your computer at that time. So green bars, nice low ones, are good. Yellow bars are not so good. And if you see any red bars scrolling across, you're probably going to have problems streaming audio on your computer. Now the way in which Fessicon recommend improving the performance on your computer is to try disabling devices one by one in Device Manager and to see if this has any effect on the performance of the DPC checker. Now to do that, we open Device Manager which is in the control panel and slightly different on Windows XP but in, on both of them it's under system and if we move these so we can see both windows side by side we can see if there's any improvement uh, the kind of devices that are worth um, disabling to see if it makes any difference are things like network adapters your built-in sound card modems so if we go, we've got some network adapters here. To disable them, you just right click and select disable. As you can see, disabling that has created a red spike on the DPC latency checker, just as the computer is busy doing other things. Just disable everything in the list. Then your built-in sound card is under sound video and game controllers and on this computer it's called high definition audio device and then if we disable the modem as well As you can see now, the um, audio performance on the DPC latency checker has vastly improved over the beginning of the video. Um, and this computer should now be able to stream audio without too much difficulty. There are other tuning tips on our answer base as well, which should help matters. But if you're having any problems improving your DPC latency, please contact technical support using the contact form on the front page of our answer base.